Hi there. Okay, what I'm sharing with you today is a breathing device. And I would like to thank Lee Coates of the Plasma Reactor Group for giving me this idea. I understand this is an outdated version and I have seen all the new designs of the breathing device but it seems to me that I wouldn't want children or younger adults using these hookah pipes or something that looks like a pipe. Also this one here you're not having to suck through it you just breathe and what I mean by that is that I went I've got myself a mask. These are very inexpensive at your local pharmacy this is a dollar ninety nine so I got a breathing mask and then I got this device and this device is to inhale your medication well there's a piece we need out of here we need this piece right here what this piece does is it goes right to the bottom of that mask just like that then what I have so I have this short little tube here. It's about seven feet long. This is all surgical oxygen tubing. And that will go right into there. So now we have seven feet of hose. And I'm going to connect it to one side of this hose coming out of here. Now inside of here is 25 feet of that oxygen tubing. And it's a kink resistance. Very good tubing. It's very hard to kink it off. So I would connect the mask to one side. Then what I do is I take this. Here we have the air pump. Then the air pump is just a regular old fish aquarium air pump. I paid $11 for it. This would hook to the other side. So now what you have is you have an air pump pulling air and pushing it through 25 feet of activated CO2 zinc water. Inside here, if I have filled it up with activated plasma, liquid plasma water of CO2 zinc, equal mixture. Um, let's see. On this, what you have to do is you have to nanocope the inside of the jar and the outside of the tubing. How do we do that? Well, what I did is I took this and I filled this up with this, all the caustic that I had. It came up right about here. And I put the caustic in there and I shook it up and I let it set. Then the next day I shook it up and I let it set. I did that three times. Excuse me, three times. <laughs> um, once that, within three times I, built, I felt it was nanocoated properly. Then I drained my caustic out. And I rinsed it with distilled water. I rinsed it three times, filling it with water, shaking it, rinsing it out, filling it with water, shaking it, rinsing it out. Now you've nano-coated the inside of the, of the jug and the outside of the tubing. What I've done here is I have made up two equal portions of CO2 zinc. They are equal. This one got shunk, shook up a little bit. And I take these and I drop these into a gallon jug of distilled water. Let it set overnight. You have now activated the water with these GANs. Then I filled this with that activated water. So there we have this. And what I'm doing is I have a co-worker that has a son by the name of Junior. It's a little bit of a skin condition. And we're seeing if we can use this breathing device plus spraying liquid plasma and consuming the energized water, maybe with our intentions, we can heal his problem. Just wanted to share this with you. If you got any questions, let me know. Take care, everybody.